In 1965, when the Beach Boys were at the top of the charts and moviegoers were flocking to theaters to see Dr. Zhivago, a tiny sandwich shop called Pete Subs opened in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Fred DeLuca and Dr. Peter Buck started the store with a meager thousand dollars. From these humble beginnings has emerged an international corporation with over 20,000 franchises in 74 countries and expected sales this year of $5.5 billion. A success story by any definition and one that most small business owners would like to imitate. Thousands of small business owners are getting that opportunity by running Subway franchises in their hometowns. The man responsible for helping those entrepreneurs is Don Furtman, the director for franchise sales for Subway. He says the management system is focused on the franchise's success. Uh, the way that we've kept the company sort of entrepreneurial driven uh, with our franchisees, with our development agent system, the way the company works, the people that are out there are motivated to do a good job. They're motivated to open more stores, our existing franchisees. Uh, they're motivated to help people open more stores and do better at opening those restaurants, and that's our development agents. Uh, so that's probably a big part of it. It's our franchisees that have really made us what we are today, and our development agents helping those franchisees to uh, uh, be successful. The chain, known for healthier menu options, has surpassed McDonald's in the number of restaurants open in the United States and Canada. Subway is the largest buyer of tomatoes in the world and consumes 60 acres of lettuce in a day. Named the number one franchise opportunity in all categories by Entrepreneur Magazine in its annual Franchise 500 ranking, Subway has again captured the honor for the 12th time in 16 years. Subway has maintained its popularity by offering a lighter, fresh, fast food to customers. Like when Jared arrived on the scene, uh, we suddenly heard from our customers, yeah, you know, I've always come to Subway because I always thought that it was a healthier kind of place, it was a better alternative to the other stuff out there, but now, you know, I really believe it, and I'm really going to keep coming because of that, and because you showed me that that's really true, and this guy Jared showed me that that's really true, and all of a sudden, they had either a new reason to come to Subway if they didn't already, or they had confirmation of the reason they were already going to Subway. The world's largest submarine sandwich chain offers entrepreneurs several good reasons to choose Subway. Ease of operation and low startup costs are high on franchisees' wish lists. The low-cost investment appealed to Illinois restaurant owner Joe Sawyer. Well, I was limited on my funding, so when I went to banks, uh, they wanted me to put uh, 20, 30 percent down since I was new getting into the business, and Subway was affordable. It was growing at the time. It, uh, Subway had 3,500 restaurants. Well, today it has 20,000 restaurants. And uh, it was just something that was affordable for me. It was a growing company, and I liked the product. Sawyer is about to open his 11th Subway franchise. He opened his first restaurant in 1990 after getting notice from AT&T to transfer or be terminated. So Sawyer began looking for a business to open. I was looking for the experience that the franchise offered rather than uh, start something on my own. I had no background in restaurants or in business as far as that goes. And I decided that I needed the expertise that came with the franchise and the franchisor. And Subway was a growing dynamic company and I decided I wanted to be a part of it. More entrepreneurs will have the chance to share in the Subway success story. The chain has set a goal of opening 7,500 restaurants outside North America by the year 2010. And so we kind of narrowed our focus a little bit and started looking at uh, internationally a lot of the European markets, uh, a lot of the Latin American markets that, are, uh, that have stronger economies like uh, Brazil and uh, Venezuela. Um, uh, we have taken the countries where we feel there's relatively low potential and kind of put them on hold for the time being and then as we build a market presence or a brand presence in these other markets these other countries will eventually work our way into those countries. Um, as far as identifying markets in the United States we've gotten to a point where we can put a store virtually anywhere. Subway restaurants are now located in schools, gas stations and sports arenas non-traditional locations to reach the customer. 
but it's the way that Subway bakes the bread and stacks the sandwich that keeps consumers coming back. You gotta listen to your customers and you can't be complacent and assume that your customers are happy with what you're doing forever. You always have to keep not one step ahead of them, but right along with them. If, you take, if you're a step ahead of them, then you might lose them because they don't quite know what you're doing. If you're a step behind them, you might lose them because they've already gone somewhere else. There are obviously a lot of ingredients to running and growing a business, as we've seen here today. Two of the biggest are to listen and to learn. They're the keys to Subway success, and they can be yours as well. I'm Jorge Rio Pendere reporting for SBTV, your premier source for news and information about small businesses.